Alrighty, I wanted to show you all a little tutorial using the stunning straight edge quilting rulers that you can get on boldnotionquilting.com. They've got those uh, 75, 60, 45, and 30 degree marking lines from the center out, which is fantastic because it lets you kind of use the whole width of your ruler, whereas when you have markings kind of in the middle, they can be a little bit difficult to anchor and to do. So there's a lot of glare on my um, ruler because of the light, so I wanted to kind of show you how all those markings look now. It also has uh, markings on the side to measure your quarter inch up, right? But they start at one half inch and go all the way up to one and three quarter inch, so you don't have to do the math because you have one half inch with this first line lined up on your seam, on your ditch, right? This first line gives you one quarter inch plus your needle gives you the other quarter inch. So that way you don't have to do the math on the sides. And then you've got quarter inch markings all the way across with one inch um, numerals up until the nine inch mark so that you can mark easily on your quilt top. So let me show you kind of a fun way that you can use this. Um, you've got we're doing half inch lines going across on our quilt top. And so I'm going to utilize my degree markings, which you may or may not be able to see um, while I'm on the quilt top, but I wanted to show you where those lines were. So right now, if I wanted to do some contrasting lines on these lines, I can line my ruler up. And I'm doing them half inch, so I have to give myself a quarter inch space. But I'm gonna line my ruler up with this ditch here, right? I'm gonna line it up with the 45. Make sure that that 45 is a quarter of an inch away from my seam. I'm gonna do a couple lines. Line it up. Okay, and then let's change the angle line. I like to change it kind of where they meet in the middle. So I'm gonna line up, gosh, let's say, how about my 60 degree line with my previously stitched line? Because we're just doing lines basically that kind of intersect and interweave. And it's easier than having to mark. So you can kind of see how we've just done a bunch of different lines in there and how we're getting the different angles in there without actually having to mark or get um, like a rotary cutting ruler to be able to see those. So you can actually utilize those lines on there to get you going. And then of course you always have your quarter inch marking lines and your half inch marking lines horizontally that can get you going too. So you're gonna move it out. And I also like to use the one with the handle. It has the same markings as the one without. We're gonna put it on the 30 degree line. So I'm lining up my 30 degree line with my ditch line here so that my ruler is at a 30 degree angle from my needle. And I've got, let's see here. I want to line up my quarter inch line with my corner of my previously stitched line. That would be right there. When you're working with angles, you kind of have to gauge where those were, are gonna start and stop. Once you do that first 30 degree line, you can line up your quarter inch, your first quarter inch line with it to give you that half inch line that we're creating. So I'm gonna keep working on this. I'm gonna fast forward through it so y'all can see it. We're gonna do 45. Thank mm -hmm. you. 